Hey there everybody and welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to model a bed because if you're doing a bedroom interior you're going to need to know how to do that and I feel like it's something that people commonly model but it's hard to get it to look realistic so that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, for a bed we need a couple things. We need a mattress, uh, we need some pillows, maybe a blanket, and a bed frame. Okay, so we're going to take those step by step by step. Uh, starting off with the mattress, I'm going to take a cube and I'm just going to scale it down, scale it on the x-axis. If you want, you can make this, um, you know, to scale, right? I'm just kind of doing it by eye. Uh, you're going to do edit mode and then control B to be bevel uh, with a couple divisions. And that's your mattress. The mattress is probably the easiest part. Uh, the rest of this requires some tricks. So to model the pillows and to have them be realistic, uh, we don't want to do any sculpt mode stuff. We want it to actually be simulated uh, so that it looks realistic. Here's a great trick. Uh, you're going to take a cube. In edit mode, you're going to kind of bring it down. Put a single loop cut on this uh, z-axis. Do not put more. A single loop cut. And you'll see where this is going in a second. And then just add a bunch of loop cuts on both uh, X and Y directions. Again, make sure you only have a single loop cut here. That is important. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this cube and now we're going to go to the physics tab, which seems pretty weird, but you'll see where I'm going with this in a second. Turn this into a cloth object, which means it's going to fall. We don't want it to fall, so I'm going to go to uh, field weights and take the gravity down to zero. So now it's just floating. And then the trick is you enable pressure and then you increase the pressure. And look at that, it automatically kind of simulates to a pillow. Uh, the reason this works is you can think of it as having um, a uh, compressed gas inside of it, a pressurized gas, and it's trying to uh, expand outwards or inwards, depending on the, um, the setting you have. And uh, you can play around with these settings to get different uh, kinds of uh, pillows and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna start off with something like this. I think this looks reasonably good. So, in the modifiers, we're going to apply our cloth, so now this is actual geometry we can look into, and I guess uh, we can make this look a bit better, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this down on the z-axis a bit so it's not as thick, and I'm going to add a subdivision surface, okay? Uh, what I'm adding this subdivision surface for is to add some geometry, and the reason I want this geometry is now we're going to take this into sculpt mode and add another pass. So. Uh, with this thing having more geometry, go into the sculpt mode and, you know, sculpting lets us modify the mesh. Uh, we're going to use the cloth brush towards the bottom. You don't need to really know how this works in detail, but you can see I'm just kind of dragging and moving it around and it gives this a very like cloth like feel. So I think this, the uh, cloth simulation plus the sculpting, these things together is what is going to make this look realistic. Okay. So uh, you can do this for multiple pillows to get like a bunch of different pillows. I'm just going to model a single uh, pillow for the sake of this tutorial. So uh, we have a pillow and I just need to position it on the bed. So I'm going to have maybe a set of uh, four pillows or two pillows. It's up to you. And you could make uh, pillows of different dimensions, like some of them could be rectangles and stuff like that. But I like the look of this and I'm just going to bring them a lot of the uh, realism is going to come from the positioning of these. So that looks pretty good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make uh, two more copies of this, bring it forwards. Again, this is all depending on the look you want. I'm just going for this look, and I'm kind of rotating them randomly and scaling them a bit randomly uh, so that they're not all perfectly the same. In fact, we can take one and rotate it by 180 degrees uh, to see the, see the back side. And if you don't like the way that looks, uh, you can go back into sculpting and then with the cloth brush, add more uh, geometry or more deformation. So this one needs to be rotated like this. And uh, with a bit of finagling, which is a hard word to say, uh, you can get this to look uh, realistic with the positioning. Okay, so we have our pillows. Uh, next thing is the blankets. And if you thought the pillows were hard to model, Without simulation, the blanket's impossible to model without simulation. So, of course, we're going to simulate it. To make a blanket, I'm going to take a plane, I'm going to move it up, and I'm going to subdivide it a bunch of times. And uh, I'm going to look at this from the uh, top view, like a bird's eye view, and I'm just going to kind of scale this so it's the correct size. And what you have to imagine is that we're going to take this and kind of drape it over our mesh. We're going to have it fall on it. 
So don't have too much geometry, it's going to bog down your simulation. Try something like this and then we can modify it. Physics tab, make this a cloth, which will make it fall, but it's not colliding with our stuff. So take the mattress, make it a collision object, and now it's falling with our mattress and you can see it's bending on top. But it should also be reacting to the pillows. So the pillows should also be collision objects, at least the ones in the front. And now you can see there's a bit of a fold in the blanket here where it would make sense. So I like the look of this. Uh, I'm just going to make this a bit bigger so you can always modify this and change it a bit and then re-simulate to get a different kind of look. And if it looks a bit uh, faceted, like low resolution, that's fine, we can fix that. So I'm going to apply this. I'm going to add geometry in a subdivision surface so it actually smooths it out. And it's up to you. You can also add a solidify for thickness. I'm gonna have my blanket be a single sheet. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna apply it. And then just like anything else, if you wanted to, you can go into the sculpting workspace and add some, uh, some random uh, wrinkles and stuff like that. And I recommend that you do that because I think this, these tiny details is what uh, sells the realism. You can uh, increase the scale of this to get bigger deformations. And I think that looks pretty good, okay? Our last thing we need is we need to make a bed frame, which is kind of the easiest part because it's just a block of wood or, you know, plastic, uh, metal, whatever it's made out of in your case. I'm gonna take a cube, I'm gonna scale it down and then kind of position it so it's a little under here. And this is gonna be some basic uh, box modeling, right? So I'm just gonna bring this uh, forwards so it's going a bit past the bed bring it backwards so it's extending uh, this way past the bed, add a loop cut, take this uh, face, extrude it upwards, and now you have a nice headboard. I feel like it's a bit too thick, so I'm just gonna bring it down a little. And this is your bed frame. Of course, uh, you can make it look a bit fancier. Uh, some things you can do, do to do that is maybe add a loop cut, and you can have layers to this thing. So maybe uh, one layer is slightly larger than the other. And maybe another thing you can do is you can take some of these edges and bevel them uh, just to add a bit of rounding to this. Um, final details, I'm going to take the headboard and definitely round that. I think that's a major part of this. And I'm going to take uh, the headboard again and I'm going to inset it and maybe, what do I want to do with this? Add a loop cut? No. I want to kind of extrude this inwards a little just so that there's a bit more going on here. And uh, this is kind of the essence of it. Of course, you can fine tune this now that you have all the components and you know what they look like uh, together. But this is the essence of it. What's going to take this uh, all the way is um, adding materials. But uh, this is just a modeling tutorial. So let's see what this looks like with actual uh, lighting and stuff like that. So I'm just adding a light source and EV. And there you go, that doesn't look half bad. And you can imagine with a fabric material and with a uh, wood material for the headboard, it's gonna look great. I'm just gonna add maybe one more detail here. Uh, maybe we do a uh, loop cut here, a loop cut here. We can bevel both of these. And then we can take that component and maybe punch it in a little, like that. Uh, which means you have to get rid of these uh, extra faces. But I guess, that is a little hard to do. So maybe we can extrude it outwards just to make it easier for us. I feel like that makes it look worse. Sometimes the uh, first solution is the best solution. So uh, there you go, we modeled it. And if people are interested, we can also add materials uh, in the next tutorial. Uh, ch check out uh, Patreon, by the way, if you wanna get this model uh, for free, or in the sense that once you're a patron, it's free, you get the blend file. Thanks for watching.